Welcome to another Ziva math video. If you can divide two numbers without getting a remainder, then the first number is divisible by the second. Being able to quickly determine if a number is divisible by another can be helpful for factoring, working with fractions, and other situations. There are divisibility rules that you can use to determine if a number is divisible by 2 through 9. This video will take a look at determining if a number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, or 5. When considering if a number is divisible by 2, you're looking at whether the number is an even number because all of our even numbers are divisible by 2. So remember, even numbers have a last digit of 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. So looking at a couple of examples, the first example we have 12. The last digit in 12 is a 2. 12 is even, therefore 12 is divisible by 2. In the example 23, 3 is an odd number, so 23 is not divisible by 2. And we can apply these rules to any number, even numbers as big as 548 or even larger. So looking at 548, 8 is an even number, so 548 is divisible by 2. To determine if a number is divisible by 3, you first have to add up the digits. And if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. So let's look at a couple of examples. If we look at the number 12, I'm going to have to add the two digits, so the 1 and the 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. Then I have to determine if 3 is divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That means that 12 is divisible by 3. If we consider 17, I'm going to add the digits. I'm going to add 1 plus 7. 1 plus 7 is 8. When I divide 8 by 3, I don't get a whole number answer because I get 2 and 67 hundredths. Because I don't get the whole number answer, 17 is not divisible by 3. We can do the same thing with 48. 4 plus 8, 4 plus 8 is 12, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 48 is divisible by 3. Now notice, we're not getting the answer for 48 divided by 3. We're just determining if the number 48 itself is divisible by 3. Looking at 52, we're going to add the digits. So 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 divided by 3 is not a whole number. So 52 is not divisible by 3. And we can apply it to any number regardless of the size of the number. So looking at 573, we're going to add 5 plus 7 plus 3, which is 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So 573 is divisible by 3. Now let's look at our rule for determining if a number is divisible by 4. And that rule is that if a number is divisible by 4, the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4. So we only consider the last two digits. So for a two-digit number, you'll have to just take the number. So 12 is a two-digit number. We're going to consider 12. We're going to divide 12 by 4. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So 12 is divisible by 4. For 196, we'll consider the last two digits, the 96. And is 96 divisible by 4? So 96 divided by 4 is 24, which means 196 is divisible by 4. Now remember, we're not saying that 196 divided by 4 is 24. We're just saying that you can use this rule to determine if 196 is divisible by 4. Looking at the last example, 526, remember these rules work for any number no matter how large they are. So 526, we'll take the last two digits, 26. Is 26 divisible by 4? And I don't get a whole number answer if I divide 26 by 4, which means that 526 is not divisible by 4.
When considering if a number is divisible by 5, you're looking at the last digit. Numbers that have a last digit of 0 or 5 are divisible by 5. So if we see 15, the last digit in 15 is 5. So 15 is divisible by 5. With 37, our final digit is a 7. So 37 is not divisible by 5. And for 1,120, our last digit is 0. So 1,120 is divisible by 5. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.